Dan Willis here, and we're talking about how to better your credit, and we're exposing the lies. Now look, it ain't easy living in our brave new world with a less than perfect credit score. Not only is poor tax real, it's also insanely expensive. In our brave new world, our credit score touches virtually every aspect of our life. And the worst part about having less than perfect credit is the stigma that society puts on us. Our lenders and society, we're one of those people, as if we're somehow less deserving of the daily comforts that everyone else takes for granted. The world of credit repair is full of abundant BS propaganda and just total wishful thinking to be really nice about it. It's a lot like our political atmosphere. One guy says it's the best of times, and another guy says it's the worst of times. And while we may be tempted to use politi political examples, we're not going to. That said, what do Trump and Tupac have in common? They both said the media is fake, full of it, and untrustworthy. And while many of us are shocked and surprised that the media has yet to criticize Trump for breaking wind in the wrong direction... We're not going to use any political examples or the endless, seemingly endless sexual misconduct examples. Do you recall in 2015 when Lion Brian Williams on NBC's Evening News claimed that he was shot down in Iraq in a helicopter? Or in 2017 when Morning Joe Scumbag Scarborough and his cohorts falsely claimed to be doing a live show the day after Thanksgiving and how Mika always forgets and leaves the guts in the turkey. And when they were caught doing this and called out on the fact that it wasn't live and an executive confirmed that it wasn't live, the same executive went on to say there was no intention to trick viewers. Sir, are you on drugs? Because that would explain a lot. <laughs> My all-time favorite was the lady in the evening news. She was reporting about how terrible the flooding was in somewhere USA, and she was in a canoe, and then two people walked through the background of the shot. In other words, it was total BS, and the world of credit repair, unfortunately, ain't much different. There is abundant propaganda propaganda, and one of the many conflicts of interest is the credit bureaus, all three of them, annually spend millions of dollars advertising with these guys, and there's so much more. But our point here is you can virtually guarantee that what you've heard and even what you want to believe about your credit score in the big three credit bureaus is far from true. After all, not that long ago in our great country, we had doctors prostituting themselves to tout and to claim the health benefits of smoking cigarettes. We both know that's true and ain't debatable. And the big thing we're going to talk about here in this video is that seven-year minimum bad credit prison sentence and how that's false. And if you'd like some help, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll-free 1-877-418-7596. Now let's talk about this seven-year minimum bad credit prison sentence. You've certainly heard about how you have to just live with less than perfect credit for seven long, expensive, and embarrassing years, and how there's nothing you can do other than just sit on your hands and wait for it to naturally just fall off. Often this will be touted under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, FCRA, and it's true. Seven years is the maximum amount of time that any negative item can stay on your credit report with rare exception. For example, a Chapter 7 bankruptcy can stay on your credit report for 10 years. Or if you're looking at a charged off credit card. It'll take six months before the credit card company actually charges off the account. So it'll be late payments or missed payments for those six months. And then it'll be seven years from the date the account is charged off. In grand total, you're looking at seven years and six months of negative credit consequences. The big takeaway and what the Fair Credit Reporting Act does not say, it does not place a minimum amount of time that any negative item must stay on your credit report. Let us repeat, there is no minimum amount of time that a negative item must stay on your credit report. And the idea that bad credit will only last seven years 
again is wishful thinking. We have better odds of seeing PETA opening up butcher shops than we do of bad credit only lasting seven years, in part because we're counting on debt collectors to follow the rules for bad credit to only stay in your credit report for seven years. And the debt collection industry is much more akin to the wild, wild west than it is to any law-abiding real it's much more like the wild, wild west. In other words, it's much more likely that Joe Scarborough is going to tell the truth about what day of the week it is. I wouldn't hold your breath. And look, if OJ can get out of real, bad, real prison early, chances are you can get out of bad credit prison early before you have to serve the maximum sentence. If you'd like some help, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll-free 1-877-418-7596. Again, that's for a free credit consultation. The toll-free phone number is 1-877-418-7596. This is Dan Willis. We're going to include a link in the description below over to an article on our website for the full story. We also have a free report available there, the seven proven ways to boost your credit score. And of course, subscribe because coming up next, we're going to be talking about the big three credit bureaus and your credit score. So make sure to subscribe and of course, join our congregation. Have a terrific day and looking forward to talking to you again here soon.